There were mare's tails in the sky and cat's paws on the water. Shafshin, my mother called the woolly lamb-like herds of altocumulus. Vancouver artist Bettina Matskun first became fascinated with weather while sailing with her father on weekends here in British Columbia. Her series, Weathering, explores the maps and symbolic systems of meteorology. Now that is some art I can get behind. So the pieces are uh, painted, embroidered, um, have things sewn on them. There's, I cut up my old Gore-Tex jacket to make arrows. Uh, there's like bootlace cord, but mostly it's, it's embroidered. Meteorologist Uva Graman, a bit of a weather guru out here, helped Matskun decipher the language of meteorology. I looked at weather maps at different websites and just mined it for the imagery that you would look at every day with an increased understanding. I mean, I, th most of it I don't understand, but it's like a glimpse into um, what's going on above our heads. Then she learned about map projections. That is the different ways to flatten a globe's surface into a plane in order to make a map, and potentially my secret obsession. One of these is the Waterman butterfly projection that aims to display the world without distorting the shapes of its continents. And the map is shaped like a butterfly. And when I saw the Waterman butterfly, it was just uh, like a light bulb went off. I think it's part of an artist's job to make connections between disparate things. The German word for butterfly is Schmetterling, which also means fragile. The idea of the atmosphere conflated with something that's very fragile that you could hold in your hand and crush, you know, is to me kind of um, sobering. And indeed, her work is a reminder of the delicate balance of our atmosphere and climate change. However, Matskun says that's not the top question she gets asked about her work. It's the how long does it take you question, because I think to a lot of people, they just couldn't imagine spending that amount of time on something. But like nobody questions you when you watch reruns of Seinfeld or stuff, you know, it, so it's time to me is just an ingredient like, you know, baking soda. Probably a few weeks for each one of those butterflies is the answer. And in that time, the weather has probably swirled on west to east, circling back around the globe, perhaps with the help of a flap of a butterfly wing. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.